So this is kind of like Oprah's favorite thing. But I wish that you guys could smell it. I know I'm probably like offending a lot of people out there. It's been a game changer. I literally just had Pink Panther. I love it so much. We call them toques in Canada, FYI. Hey guys, happy new year. Today, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite things of 2018. I thought this would be really fun just to share with you guys the things that I discovered in 2018, the things that I used the most in 2018, listened to, read, loved, everything. I hope this video isn't too crazy long because I do have like quite a few things that I want to share with you guys. My favorite thing was to always watch um, Oprah's favorite things when she was doing her show. So this is kind of like Oprah's favorite things except that I'm not Oprah and I'm not giving away all of these products but you get the gist. I tried to think of all of the categories and pick one or two or three things for the categories. Most things were relatively new to me in 2018 and things that I used all throughout the year consistently consistently and will probably continue to repurchase into 2019. I hope this is a fun video for you guys. Maybe you guys see some things that you've never tried before that you want to try in the new year. Let's just get right into it. So first I'll start with the things that I can actually like physically show you and then at the end I'll do like the movies, the TV shows, the music and all of that stuff. I'll try to link everything down below for you guys. First I'll start with fashion and beauty I'll start with the thing that i'm wearing on my head right now this is not new in 2018 but i wore it so much the last few years i was living in maui so i didn't really get to wear toques or beanies we call them toques in canada fyi then when i went back to canada now i'm in switzerland and we have winter time here i probably wear this hat three or four times a week, especially when I haven't washed my hair in a couple days. So it's from a brand called Agape Apparel. Chris actually got this for me. Well, I think he got it for himself and then he didn't like the way it looked on him, so he gave it to me. But anyways, I love this toque, just toques in general. I feel like they make everything so much more cozy and cover up your hair if you're not having a great hair day. The next thing in the fashion department um, would be earrings, would be like tassel, big earrings. 2018 was definitely the year that I branched out in earrings. Um, I think before that, I was like a strictly studs girl where I'd only wear studs until you know the whole like tassel trend started and i bought these at primark and this just kind of like kick-started my love for like large earrings i got these ones at primark uh i want to say in january or february um of this year and i wore them so much i love these guys uh you probably can't get these ones anymore but just in general tassel earrings were like my fave thing and i think too because all my clothes are relatively simple and so i really loved just throwing on a pair of like big earrings and i felt like that really like completed my outfit makeup wise this was definitely my newfound love this year um it is the kat von d locket foundation um you can get this at sephora before my wedding i was trying to find a foundation that fit my skin that would stay on all day that looked nice and i ended up going with this one and i love it it's definitely not an everyday foundation i usually don't wear it every day because it's quite full coverage 24 hour full coverage transfer resistant and it definitely is like even if i put it on the back of my hand to like use my makeup brush and put it on it like sticks on my hand i have to use soap so it stays on for a really long time but if you're looking for a really good full coverage foundation um especially for something like a wedding or a big event that you you want it to stay in place um this is a really really great one and the selection of colors that they have is also really good they have warm cool neutral so the next thing has been my favorite it is the l'oreal series expert magnesium silver shampoo you guys this thing was a total lifesaver for me this year um as you can see i'm blonde and i'm not naturally blonde it is the best purple shampoo that i have used i think this year i got the most compliments on my hair like when it comes to the color it takes out all of the brassiness and the yellow tones in your hair and just makes it really nice and on top of that it also it doesn't feel like it strips your hair i used some purple shampoos before where i felt like they were really really drying and this one really isn't too bad as long as you pair it with a good conditioner it's part of the l'oreal professional brand so it is a little bit more expensive than typical l'oreal but i found that it lasts a long time and it's worth the money because it, it keeps your blonde hair looking really really nice 
This has been my favorite candle um, of the year and it is from H&M Home. It is the Velvet Fig Candle. I think, I know that they still have this because I've seen it, but I think that they might have repackaged it. It is so good. I wish that you guys could smell it through the camera. Um, I think I went through two of these when I was home and then now in Switzerland I've gone through this one. I'm kind of at the end. I'm just kind of trying to save it. So bad at describing scents so I'm not even really going to try but it's really warm and it makes your whole room or apartment smell and it's delicious. Apparently I got this one for five bucks. That's a really good deal. Normally it's $20. On the topic of scents, this next one is kind of random. I almost didn't include it, but I was like, it really has been one of my favorite things. And this is like adult things. You know, you're like getting old when you're including laundry things in your video. But um, anyways, these are the Unstoppables. I'm sure you guys have all heard of them before. They're like the little scent beads. You put a cap full of these in along with your laundry detergent. Um, in with your clothes or your bedding and it literally makes them smell so good Not only when you first take them out the scent also lingers on your clothes on your bedding My favorite thing is to use it on our bedding. It's your stuff smelling fresh For a long time the last random kind of home thing that I have is this rifle paper co weekly meal planner i have probably used this every single week since i got married i love it so much obviously it's rifle paper co so it's beautiful i know you can get these at anthropology you can probably get them on their website it has the days of the week you could technically plan breakfast lunch dinner i usually just do dinner um, but my favorite part is over here there's a shopping list and so you can write down everything that you need to make your recipes and then it also has a perforated edge so it just like comes off and you can just take the shopping list with you obviously you can do this on your phone there's lots of apps you can use but if you're someone like me that actually loves to sit down write things out to write lists out then i think you'll really love this too next category that i wanted to talk about was technology i'm not a huge like tech technology I don't even know what the proper word is. I'm not a super techie person, but I do have a couple things. Um, the first one is, I can't show it to you because I'm filming on it right now. It is my Canon G7X vlogging camera. It has been awesome. It's been a game changer. Chris got it for me as an early Christmas present and I have been loving it. I would highly recommend this camera. The battery life is awesome on it. The quality is great. The stability is also great. So yeah, if you're looking for a great little handheld vlogging or even to take pictures on it is really really great okay so moving into books um i have two that i want to share with you guys the first one i don't have a physical copy of because it was my mom's um and i read it when i was home but i'll insert a picture here um, and it was called Present Over Perfect by Shauna Nyquist. I ended up reading this book in a season where I was going through and dealing with a lot of anxiety and just stress. The book is really about slowing down, being present. In our totally fast-paced world, it just really causes you to have a mind shift. Okay, what's important? How should we be present in the moments, present in our relationships, and not be so distracted by everything going on around us, our long to-do lists, um, our social media, our phone everything like that and the way that she writes is really really beautiful very like poetic storytelling and so yeah that was one of my favorite books that i read this year and i would highly recommend it pretty much for everyone no matter what you're going through in your life it's just an awesome reminder to slow down and be present my next favorite is magazine book crossover i don't really know what to call it if you've heard of Jonathan, David, and Melissa Hauser, they're with Bethel Music. They do worship, um, but they also have this awesome ministry called the Cageless Birds. They put out lots of handmade goods, but I think it's once or twice a year they come out with a new Cultivate. This one is the Creative Issue. It's volume four, Creativity Unlocked. Not only is it a beautiful book, just so, so, so pretty. They have like all of these, I would say like short articles and the artwork is just like so beautiful also love that at the end of every kind of article they have a prompt so they'll give you questions to think about um, or an action to do i always just have it out on our coffee table not only because they look pretty but also for spiritual growth there's like awesome content in them and last but not least i thought i'd share with you guys my favorite tv shows movies and albums of 2018 these ones were really hard to narrow it down but i think that uh, i managed to narrow them down pretty well 
for TV shows. One of my favorites was The Sinner. This one, it's on Netflix, but I think it's AMC, produced by AMC. There's two seasons out and they both follow different crime stories um, that happen, but with intertwining characters. Um, and yeah, it's a bit of a darker TV show, definitely not kid friendly. You know who commits a crime, but you don't really know why or how, and it all kind of unfolds. So if you're into like dark, gritty crime shows, that's a really good one. The other one that I watched way back at the beginning of the year was called Dark, and I believe, yeah, it's a Netflix original, um, and it's actually in German, so that's one thing. But obviously there's subtitles on it, and honestly, I got used to it right away. It was so good. If you like Stranger Things, um, it definitely reminded me of Stranger Things. It's some sci-fi, some weird psychological thriller, crime. There's a bit of time travel in there. It's really, really well made. The storyline is awesome, and it kind of keeps you guessing to the very end. You don't really know what's gonna happen. So next up on my favorites is movies, and this is probably the hardest to narrow down um, because my husband and I love movies so much. He works at a movie theater and so we are able to go for free. So we pretty much see almost every movie that comes out. Um, so I actually had to Google a list of the movies that came out in 2018 because we've seen so many and I could just think of the ones in the past month. Let's give you movies from throughout the year. This first one, I was surprised at how much I liked it, but it was Pink Panther. Not, oh my gosh, not Pink Panther, Black Panther, that's right. I'm not a huge superhero fan, Marvel fan, like not always my favorite, just being honest. I know I'm probably like offending a lot of people out there, but I loved, 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 loved Black Panther. I loved the cast, I loved the soundtrack, and the special effects, I just thought it was awesome. The next one was The Girl in the Spider's Web, which I loved so much. I loved The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, um, and if you haven't seen that one, you, you don't need to see that one first, but it does give you a little bit of context, and it's a really good movie. Um, the Girl in the Spider's Web, it's set in Sweden. It's all very cold, very gray. So it's definitely one of the darker, like not like feel good movies, um, but it is so good, so well made. Be warned, it is pretty like graphic and violent. Um, not as bad though as The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, but it was still like, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't watch it with kids. And last, but very, very not least, um, my favorite music album. I could probably name a lot more, but I narrowed it down to two. First one is Casey Musgraves' Golden Hour album. You guys, I, I can't even list the amount of times that I have listened to this album. I have listened to it so many times, um, especially in the summertime. It was like my jam. I would say like once a day I listen to the album. Um, it's so good. Even if you're not a big fan of country music, it's like a weird mix of like country and just really chill. Yeah, if there's one album that I listened to over and over and over again, it was the Casey Musgraves album. Last but not least is the uh, Brian and Katie Torwalt album, Praise Before My Breakthrough. This album is so good. It's like such an anthem album. Um, it came out recently, so I was like, do I put this in my favorites? But I think looking back on all of the worship that came out this last year, this was by far my favorite worship album that was released this year. I love it. It is so good. It's only five songs, which kind of sucks. I wish it was longer, but it is so so good if you're looking for new good worship music um yeah that is an awesome one so yeah i think that concludes my favorites for 2018 things that i love things that i use feel free to comment down below if you guys have some favorite products if you made it all the way to the end of this good for you i'm super excited for 2019 and everything that it holds wish you guys a happy new year from switzerland i'll see you guys in the next one